We have some breaking news now. A teenager who was hurt while riding on the top level of a double decker bus has died. The LA County Coroner's Office confirms 16 year old Mason Zazette of Manhattan Beach died tonight from injuries he received in the incident. The bizarre incident happened in. Yeah, my name is Victor George and I'm an attorney and I represented the Zazette family in their case against Starline Tour Bus Company and against the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Schlossberg in the Mason's is that wrongful death case. 745 Thursday evening. Students from Miracosta High School celebrating a birthday party were riding in an open top Starline Tours bus. Yeah, um, there was a Sweet 16 birthday party. It was on uh, July 10th of 2014 and Mason was um, one of the celebrants. So there are about 35 kids, most of them age 16, uh, for the celebrant whose name was Tatum Schlossberg. She invited a bunch of her friends, including Mason. They all met uh, at the Schlossberg's house, got on the bus for a four hour tour. For about three and a half hours of the tour, they were uh, traveling all over the surface streets of Los Angeles, up by the Hollywood sign, Man's Chinese Theater, um, you know, the Wax Museum in Hollywood, just those fun places like that, stopped at Pink's Hot Dogs. For some reason, with about a half hour left in the trip, the bus suddenly, for the first time, jumped onto the 405 freeway at Westwood. And when they got on the freeway, there was, you know, the kids weren't advised, um, nothing. Uh, unfortunately, in the, with the bus on the freeway going south on the 405 southbound, um, the kids were up dancing because the bus company had let them um, put their music in instead of the tour guide information they let them put in their iPods and play music the kids were all standing up and dancing but with them now being on the freeway it became uh, you know and looking back terribly dangerous because as they drove down the freeway um, with the kids standing up uh, tragically uh, Mason was looking northbound as the bus traveled southbound there's a very low freeway overpass the lowest freeway overpass on the whole system from where the bus had got on the freeway up until the time of his injury so that um, overpass struck the back of his head. He looked northbound. The bus is going southbound. The over, uh, overpass hits the top of his head. And it's a horrible injury. He lived for 44 hours. They kept him alive long enough so that he could donate all of his major organs. Miracosta classmates can't believe 16-year-old Mason Zazette is gone. By all accounts, he was a popular, outgoing kid who, like his former tennis pro father, was a great tennis player. Very funny, vibrant, outgoing, popular, uh, terrific tennis player, uh, smart kid, really well-liked. Uh, Police report that while in Hollywood at the Man's Chinese Theater, the mother of the celebrant got off the bus, went to a place called Hollywood Liquors, purchased six bottles, six flasks of Smirnoff vodka, put it into a brown bag, got back on the bus and handed it to her 16-year-old daughter, the celebrant, and said, have a good time. And so then... The The verdict in total was $26 million. And there were a number of things we had to prove to get to the monetary portion of the damages. So we have to show what's called liability. So the liability is what's called negligence against Starline and uh, product liability. Um, and in every, and what's called causation, meaning that Starline caused his death, etc. And in every one of the jury questions, the jury was unanimous, 12 to nothing, on everything, and you know, including the money. So the verdict was, um, you know, resounding. It was unanimous as to all the liability and to um, the monetary amount. And then they eventually worked out the apportionment part of that, and that was. Um, 75% against Starline Bus Company, 20% against Mrs. Schlossberg, and then 5% against Mason for underage drinking. So that's how they calculate. So if you can imagine with the $26 million verdict, you can take the percentages. Uh, for instance, the 75% Starline would be somewhere around $20 million.